Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Saturday, October 30th, and it's currently 5.26 p.m., but I will be uploading this video tomorrow on Halloween. So if you're seeing this and you celebrate or you just like Halloween, happy Halloween. If you're going trick-or-treating, bundle up if it's cold outside. Please be safe and never, ever, ever eat open candy and always check your candy before you eat it but nonetheless have fun and i hope you guys had a wonderful day today so we have chandler here and he's just in the poppy and i hope this ring light isn't up too um high so he doesn't wash him out but um we're gonna change him and i was going to get the baby's halloween outfits or costumes or like a variety or mix and match like all the babies even the two babies that i painted i'm selling i'm gonna get everybody a like halloween outfit but then halloween came just so fast that i was unable to get any of the babies anything and plus i was going to use the money where i sold the croc set if you guys don't know what i'm talking about go watch my last video but i was going to use that to buy them the outfits but since they decided they wanted to return I did not get that money and so now we are here but a little update on the situation um I did receive my crocs back in return and they literally ripped the tags off the tags that show that they are brand new they ripped them off of that but we're going to go ahead and get started with this video and I'm going to show you guys what he's going to be wearing just grab and get from over there but I do hope that it's not going to get loud in any point of this video because I really don't feel like yelling because I felt like I did enough of that in the last video so I'm trying to give my voice a rest you know <laughs> so um like I said Chandler's going to be the star of this video we're going to get him changed and so this is what he's going to be wearing for Halloween tomorrow or today since you guys will be seeing it tomorrow which is Halloween I don't know <laughs> but we have this cute shirt and it says mommy's little monster it's black and it just has frankenstein on it and you guys saw this in my goodwill haul when i had went to goodwill i saw it and i had picked it up for a different baby i didn't pick it up for chandler um i knew i was gonna get chandler when i went to goodwill but i didn't pick this shirt specifically out for chandler i suppose i have had another baby and i thought that baby was going to be done and come home to me before halloween so i had got this shirt for that baby but the baby's not done yet which i am totally fine and okay with so we're just gonna put it on chandler <laughs> so it's a size this is actually a size 12 months i had washed all the clothes from the goodwill and so this shrunk a teeny tiny bit but he's the only baby that is gonna fit i mean i could have tried to put it on elena but I don't know I think he will still look cute in it plus I don't like stuff that's too tight on my babies anyway and now that I think about it this shirt is really tiny for 12 months and I don't think it would have even fit the baby that I have coming so I guess it all worked out anyway and I'm gonna just pair it with these blue jeans that I also got from the Goodwill they're baby bagage three months and I hope they fit I'm going to I'm going to hope that they fit because they I mean they don't look small but you guys see Chandler he's really big but yeah like I said I did wash all of these clothes that I got from Google these two pieces as well as everything else and I actually do have the book the littlest pumpkin which I could probably read to him I might I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video of me reading the book to the babies we have some socks here we have his bibs pacifier as well as some scissors because I'm going to cut it so that he can fit it. Then we have um, his brush and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know where his spray bottle is. So we're just going to have to go with the flow here. He's not going to have a spray bottle. But I didn't get any photos of him in this outfit, which is totally okay. I mean, if I were to post photos of him in this outfit people will probably look at me like I'm crazy because it's literally a summer outfit but where I'm at it's literally so hot still so like this is literally appropriate for him now back in my hometown if I were still living there then this would not work for him because it's literally I'm gonna check the weather there but I know my friend said that it's really cold there it's currently 55 degrees there and it is 7 7:31. 7 
no, 52 degrees. And so as you guys can see, that is a big weather difference from where I used to live at. And people would literally think that I was like over exaggerating when I would say that it literally used to be negative 10 degrees and we would still have school. Um, the way that school would get canceled where I used to live at is if the snow was 10 inches. So um, that's just a little funny fact about me growing up in a different state that I'm in now. So yeah, we would literally never have any off days for school. No matter how cold it was, they were like, you still have school. So yeah, they did it by, they did it by uh, the snow. But I remember this one year, they did it by the degrees. And do you guys wanna know what they said? If it was negative, I, I don't know if my memory is playing tricks on me, but I'm pretty sure they said if it will get to negative 32 degrees, then we wouldn't have school. And I remember it being like negative 20 degrees and we still had to go to school. I don't know why, but yeah, it was crazy. So I'm getting this shirt off of Chandler. And this shirt is like so tight that I don't think I'm gonna put it back on him again. And I think this video might be a little long, possibly not. You guys know I take a while to change my babies and since he is a silicone, then it's gonna take even longer. But I do hope I was not blocking you guys while I was changing him. And I do hope that it was focused for you guys. But we got his shirt off and we got his pants on. So I'm just gonna fold his outfits back up. But yeah, I was actually supposed to do this video. I was supposed to record it yesterday and have it uploaded today. But I totally forgot to upload my video that I uploaded today. I was supposed to upload that video yesterday, but I didn't so I had to upload it today, which pushed this back. But I guess it was good because I didn't record it anyway so i don't know i guess it all worked out but yeah i wanted to post me changing him into this outfit today and then me reading the book for sunday's video since it would be halloween but i guess this still fits into halloween but yeah i didn't bring another diaper i don't know why but i the next time i change him i need to bring another one because now over a month actually so don't want to leave it on him too long Especially since he's silicone. I want to get some cloth diapers for him because I feel like they would be better for the silicones. But I still have to get some. But I will soon, hopefully. <laughs> I have these gray and black socks for him that I'm going to put on him first before I put his pants on. But yeah, I don't know if I have anything to really talk about. I think I've covered everything. I'm not sure. Oh, you guys can let me know. You guys can let me know in the comments if you will be going trick or treating. And if you are, let me know what you are going as. Like what costume are you going as? I did have a pretty cool theme for this year, but obviously as you guys can see, I did not get around to do it. But I had like a cute little superhero theme like messiah not messiah oh my gosh zaire was going to be like the flash and then um eileen was going to be wonder woman and then no 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 zaire was going to be superman eileen was going to be wonder woman and um chandler was going to be batman it was so cute it had little capes um attached to the onesie and then i didn't have anything picked out for Claudia and Scarlett when I wanted them to be that but then I was like okay it, it started to add up it was like $40 for all of that so I was like okay I'm just gonna have to find something else and I ended up finding like a lot and it had like five onesies and sleepers that were Halloween related so I was like this is perfect but then someone ended up buying it and so I was just like okay I would look for something else and then Halloween came so <laughs> and then I was just like oh well I do still have that um I do still have the I'm just taking off this these pieces of hair okay there we go <laughs> what was I saying oh I do still have that shirt 
that were that I was going to use for my other baby that I can put on either Chandler here or Eilina. But I just decided to leave Eilina and what she's in. She's taking a little break right now. She has her, she's facing on her tummy right now instead of her back. So um, her hair doesn't fall out anymore. But uh, yeah, these pants fit him perfectly and they actually wasn't a hassle to get on i know it probably looks like i was struggling but i wasn't surprisingly they were really easy to get on and so yeah he's a big baby because he still has room in here but if i were to go down a size or if they were a tad bit smaller he would not be able to fit this and i like literally would have even put him on him i don't know if it's me but i like to wash my hands before i touch my babies especially now that i have a silicone i just like to wash my hands especially before i touch him I don't know, maybe it was just me. <laughs> but yeah, having a silicone is very tough, I will admit. You can't cuddle them, that's for sure. <laughs> but I do like the way they feel, and I do like that they don't have any limitations to what they can wear. But I don't like that you have to be so very cautious and careful with them. I mean, of course, I'm always careful with any of my babies, silicone or not. But with silicone, you just have to take even more precaution. Because if you don't, they will tear and they will rip and I don't like that at all. I wish that they, I don't know, but I do like having the silicone, but I don't like them being so fragile. If you want a silicone, you guys let me know. Especially one this big, like you guys see how big he is, he's a... Three month size babies, 10 pounds. So, I'm not gonna leave this black on him for too long either, guys. I know you guys are probably worried about this black and this denim, this dark blue being on him. I'm definitely not gonna be leaving it on him for too long. I'm very careful about what I put on my babies. And so I don't want any of these um, items to damage him. So, you guys will be seeing another changing video very soon. Um, Chandler again, because he will be getting changed out of this into something that's not this dark. I will probably honestly just change him into a onesie next. I have this, this really cute onesie that he came to me with. And I've been wanting to put it on him for a while now. So, I will probably just change him into that in like a few days. I'm not going to go put it on him like right tomorrow but on a few days i'll put it on him you guys see how this shirt is a 12 month and i still have to work so hard to get it on him yeah. okay i think we got it now oh also thank you guys so much for being so sweet in my comments about um me possibly having to sell him I'm not gonna be selling him anytime soon but I do appreciate you all being super sweet about it of course it's never my plans to sell any of my babies I don't get them just so I can sell them but you know life just gets in the way and like life happens and I do have two other babies that I have to bring home which is why I needed Claudia and Scarlett to sell that way they can take their place and then I had the money for that and for them but yeah Claudia and Scarlett is still for sale I know you guys are like still I never had a baby um take seven months to sell never ever ever and I've sold tons of babies before and I never had one take this long to sell especially one this cheap like I sell pretty cheap babies but I think Scarlet might be the cheapest one I sold except for my first baby ever that I had sold back. And I just sold her for the same price I paid for her. But I think Scarlet might be the cheapest baby I sold because... I don't, I don't know why I said because, but I believe... Yeah, I believe Scarlet's the cheapest baby I sold and she's still available. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on, but... If you're interested in her, she's $230 free shipping in the United States. Just let me know. So I can bring home some babies. And I'm actually lowering Claudia's price for a Halloween special. Claudia is going to be $280 with free shipping in the U.S. 
for a week. So you guys, if you guys are interested in her, let me know as well. But he looks so cute in his little Halloween outfit. And um, it's so hot. And I know I'm wearing a sweater, but it actually is really hot. He looks so cute. Yeah, this shirt fits him pretty good. So I know that this shirt would not have fit my new baby. But I'm glad these pants fit him. Like, they're perfect. So we have the bibs pacifier right here. And I have my scissors. They're my hair scissors. Well, let me rephrase that. I use these to cut. I have bought these and I have specifically bought these for the Reborn's hair when I cut it. So I had used these to cut Claudia's hair. But I'm going to just cut this bibs pacifier. I'll probably just do it right here. And if I do it right here, Eilina could fit them as well. Because she could fit a cut pacifier since her mouth is slightly open. But it's just this cute charcoal gray one. I thought it would look cute with this outfit. He looks so cute. I wish I had a green pacifier. Um, but I do have this hat and it's just a little gray and green one with a little, little monster hat. But it says Mommy's Little Monster so I was thinking about putting it on him. But I don't know if that would look right. I'll probably just put it on him to see how it looks. Oh my gosh, this hat's a little... Look, guys, <laughs> the hat is too little, but it's cute. It's cute on him. Look how cute that is. He will look cute with a little beanie. Cute little beanie. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Yeah. Look at his crazy hair now. I do not know what that sound was. When I rewatch, like when I edit my videos, I'm like, why did I make that sound? Why did I do this? Why do I do that? I'm like, oh well, it's done already, so just gonna have to edit it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. Like I said, go ahead and comment down below what you guys are for Halloween. The last time that I actually dressed up, actually, I went to a Halloween party four years ago because it popped up in my memories on Snapchat a few days ago, and I went as like the purge. I had like a purge mask and then the little fake knife with the fake blood on it but I wore like a dress like a grandma purge because I had a cardigan with it that was the last time I had dressed up and then like me being like something like else I think fifth fifth grade because in sixth grade I told my mom that I didn't want to go trick or treating anymore <laughs> and then now look at me so yeah let me know what you guys are going to be for Halloween. I was going to say something else. And I think that's it for this video. I'm probably going to take photos of him tomorrow. Have them posted on Instagram. But yeah, I didn't take any photos of him in his other outfit. But that's okay. I'm going to do his hair tomorrow too. Look at his cute little shirt. Mommy's little monster. Freaking style. He's so cute. I finally uploaded Claudia's pictures on Instagram. So yeah. If anyone's interested in either of the babies, please let me know. I want to negotiate Claudia's price. Guys, someone just liked all of my photos that I have on my Instagram all in one sitting. That is a pet peeve of mine. I don't know. I know I should be grateful because thank you for liking my photos and I am grateful. But that's a pet peeve of mine when they like all of my photos just back to back back to back because it spams up my notifications on my phone and my um instagram page and so like the notifications just keep coming in and keep coming in so i have to turn my phone on silent so i can stop hearing it as well as sometimes my phone be freezing from the notifications from instagram so that's one of my pet peeves i don't really like when people do that but thank you for liking the photo anyway but uh yeah, you guys follow me on Instagram at my underscore reborn so you guys can see photos of this baby. And I did take photos of Eilina, but now is not a good time to post them because everyone's posting their Halloween pictures. So I don't want to throw Eilina in there with her cute fancy outfit. Well, her outfit wasn't fancy, but it will just look off. So we're just going to take some photos of Chandler tomorrow and get them uploaded or posted on Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram, my underscore reborn. So there's always a clickable link in the description. And uh, that is pretty much it for this video. 
If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you want, including video requests. Hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. So make sure you guys share this video with your friends, your family, anybody you know. And uh, turn on that bell because if you guys don't turn it on, sometimes YouTube does not notify you when I post another video. And you're like, three weeks later, like, when did she post this? Three weeks ago. So definitely hit that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And I'll see you guys later. And Chandler says bye. And if you're not subscribed to me, click that subscribe button. He says subscribe to my mommy. All right. Bye, guys.